Hi, my name is John. Welcome to the fourth part in a series of videos reviewing this Artec CNC plasma cutter. In this part of the review, it's going to be sort of artwork. Uh, I'm going to take an image from the internet or an image from a book or whatever, and I'm going to convert it into a file to enable us to cut it out on the plasma table. My wife Dave's already found a, an image of a butterfly, fly, so I wanted to do that uh, to make some ornaments for the garden. So I thought it would be a good place to start uh, doing some artwork. The wife's found an image of a butterfly that she wants cutting out a plate to make an ornament for our garden. So open Inkscape. We need to go to File, Import because we need to bring in a drone or a, a picture. It's actually in Desktop. We'll scroll down. There's a folder there, strange enough, called Artec Plasma. We'll open that. Right, there's a butterfly. Click the butterfly. Click open. OK. Before we do anything with that, we need to change the format of it. So we'll click Path. Trace Bitmap. OK. Now it looks like nothing's happened, but if you actually get a hold of it and drag it away, we've now got two images. This image here is the one we want to delete. This image is the one we want to use. So we'll delete that. We need to make a specific size, so we'll click on the object. Click on the transform. Click scale. Right, so our millimeters, we've clicked scale proportionally, which means if we move one axis, the other one will move. We'll change the size of that to 200. Apply. So now the image is the size we need it to be. We're going to save it. Save as. We'll call it Butterfly Drawing. Butterfly Drawing. It's going to save it as an SVG format, that's the best one to use. Automatically does that. Save. Next, we need to do a sheet cam. Once again, it's fail. Import drone. And the drone was called Butterfly. That's it there. SVG fail. Open. OK. Right, that's a drone. It's in red and yellow. The yellow are the holes and the red's the outline. We need to set up some cutting parameters. So we'll go down here, operations. Right, so it's outside offset. The layer's white. The thickness of the material. I've got some 1.5. 1 mil, 1 pound. So I'll go 1.9 and I can always adjust it down to suit. I'll probably do a test cut. OK. Right, so I can go up here and it'll simulate the, the cut path for it. Start. So it cuts the holes out first. Once the holes are done, it'll go into the outline. This is obviously a lot faster than it'll cut it in the real world, but it does cut 1.5mm plate pretty quick. Right, so that's all fine. Next we need to turn it into a G-code. So we'll click on P. The file name is still Butterfly Drone. Save as a G-code. Save. Butterfly Drone exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. That's it. So now we can go and cut it out.
before I actually cut any shapes out I'm going to do a test cut just to make sure I've got the optimum cutting from it as set so a little J-code this is a, a file containing test cuts as a one there 100 millimeter test cut 1.9 mil plate to open it's just basically a straight line it asks for 30 amps which is set at so I'm going to try a cut with a feed rate at 100% and see what sort of result I get and then I can change different parameters to see if I can improve it one thing you must do is only change one parameter just so you know what actually made the difference right, we'll do a cut first with a torch Cut. We'll do another one. This time I'm going to turn the amp down to 25. Right, these are the two test cuts. The 25 one, amp one looks tidier from this side. We'll turn it over and see what the dross is like on the back of the cut. That's the important thing. Right, this is the back of the cut. They're both good, but the 25 is better. I'm going to try it now with a little bit of speed difference, and then we'll know what we're going to be using, but it's definitely going to be 25 amps. Right, this is the, the feed rate control. You can go up or down. It's at 100% in a minute. You can actually crank it up 120%. Right, you can take it down. 90, 80. I'm going to try it up at 110%. So 25 amps and 110% speed. Give that a try. Right, we'll do the same thing again, but this time, speed it at 90%. Right, that's the results, that's 110% and that one's 90% and that one's noticeably, noticeably better. I'll turn it over and see what the back side of it's like. There the two I've just done, that's 110 and that's 90. There's not much in it, they're both good, but I think the slower speed and 90 is better. So I'm going to run 25 amps and 90% of the speed that's already programmed into the machine. Right now we need to load the drone. So we know J code and the drone was that one there, butterfly drone. Go open. Right, and that's showing the drone in the top right hand of the screen. Thank you. 
That's flash there, there's very little flash on the back of it, which is straight off. I'm sure I should be happy with that, but we paint it to our heart's content. Okay, I'm going to do another one. So as poor as a jade cord, do another one. This one, he has called my chrometer, it's the one for me. Right, so it's brought the image of the make chrometer in. I'm going to cut it out the same material, so I'll leave the same settings because it seems to work quite nicely. And Jeb's just bought a fly. Not that big, you can see the and it's really has brought out the, the shape of the face very well. Feet is good. You better probably if we turn the plasma on it would probably work. Considerably better. Better and good. 